All right, let's go have it. Uh, hopefully this base that I've kind of been having my eye on hasn't been raided. I am playing on modded. It's been a while. It's been a while since I last played Rust. Put my mic closer together. And... Oh, shit, I'm lagging. Fucking lag, man. Hopefully the base... This is not the base I wanted to raid, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it's like day two, and there's a shit ton of bases raided. Small, small little bases like this get raided quite... <laughs> quite easily on the server but we're gonna go and see what this new base this base right here it was just like a wooden door and I was gonna raid it but uh, people beat me to it there's always like fights and stuff this kinda like a battlefield server but not really like I think modded is basically like battlefield servers just a bit less intense because like I don't know there's always raiding and shooting and stuff like that and it's pretty cool but I only play modded when I'm solo just because it's it's much easier. It sucks though because the big groups have like a lot a lot of stuff. But you know what server does there? So we're gonna raid this place. I need to put my bag down. I am an idiot. Should have put this down beforehand because there's the timer now. Uh, so quick tip: put your uh, if you're gonna raid solo, put your bag down beforehand. I I like to push put them down in bushes. And I like to name them R, um, so I know it's a raid because I usually have multiple bags up at a time. So tip. Uh, Put your bag in a bush so no one breaks it and put it before the raid. Not like me because I'm a dummy. Um, and also be cautious, you know. Uh, a solo player's got to be cautious. And also be aware that satchel charges, they're fucking insane and they can blow up as soon as you put them down, but they also can't. So I have more of these satchels here and sometimes they're dodging, you have to come back, reignite them, and then so they could blow up right when you reignite them. So they're a bit like unstable explosives but oh shit all right we're just gonna go straight through the middle they're fucking crazy explosives now i'm hoping that a group doesn't roll up on me okay, there's a dud and there's a guy over there i hit him all right he's done okay Run! Picked up two satchel charges now. That's what I really hate about satchel charges. They're a bit unpredictable. Um, Desert Bomb looks awesome, by the way. I like new overhaul. Oh, he's right there. Oh shit! Also, be aware, because they could be baiting the fuck out of you. Oh shit, there's multiple. That's what I fucking hate, dude. Fucking solo, be aware. There was not just one, there was like, fuck. There's one baiting me. Oh, let's see, here's my bed. Now they're fucking raiding that shit, dude. Oh my god. There's like, fucking like... Oh, that's the hard part about solo. Is it's really hard to raid, because then groups just roll up on you, and it's so easy for them to just... Like either shoot you and then like they run a bullet so they run away and then their your their fucking friend just shoots the fuck out of you. Oh my god, dude. And I I am in a very like high pop area. Like this where I'm at, I always hear gunshots and there's always like groups fighting. But I know I shouldn't have gone for that raid, but fuck, dude. Well, I, sh I knew I sh I probably could have handled it. <laughs> Notice came and fucked with me. Um. But, you know, we're going to try to go back and see what we can do. Pick up my fucking body, because... Nah, it was just them. I, I mean, I heard gunfight afterwards, but I think... Oh, shit, yeah, they're raiding that place, dude. Unless that's their fucking house. And they spawn outside. But, who fucking knows? Nah, dude, they don't even fucking... Yeah, look, see? Oh, my God, that's the only thing about solo. You honestly, you have to be careful, because... People aren't alone a lot of the time a lot of the time people are not alone yeah dude it's fucking there's a guy there oh my god that's the thing about soloing is people are always in groups that's why I don't like soloing but uh, what can I do I got no life I got no friends oh shit I don't have extra gear, I didn't equip extra gear. 
Um, like I do have extra stuff to make gear, but okay, not there. And by the way, I have an Illuminati base. This is like the best base I could have ever built in my entire Rust life, dude. It is literally like the best. Like, uh, I mean, I could teach people how to build this base, but I kind <laughs> I don't know, I, I quite like it. It's pretty cool. People do not expect... Like, I don't know, people just don't know where the cupboard's at most of the time. Like, if they find the cupboard, it's mostly because of luck. But people don't know how to read it. Like, they're like, triangle base, what the fuck is this? And it's just like multiple layers of honeycomb. Plus, you know, Illuminati confirmed. And I think they're going to raid that base because one of them staying there. So there was three, I know that. Cause, I mean, or probably four because there's one over here unless he wasn't part of them. Uh... But uh, I'm so lucky I didn't bring all my satchel charges. I only brought. Oh, that's another tip, guys. Another tip for solar rating. Don't bring all your materials out because, like I said, there's groups that come out and just whenever they hear boom booms, they run over there like fucking, uh, like fucking little rats. They run into food. So like, I had made, I had eight on me. I'd made sixteen satchel charges. I only brought eight to get through two doors and if that's all I needed that was great if I needed more that would got, went back to my house and got the rest but since there are these groups that just kind of uh, they're kind of just like vultures you just roam around and try to look for anything like anything easy and then usually out of big fights they usually back out but that's just them is he in that bush I don't know dude if I can try to grab something Okay, I have nothing on me. What am I trying to grab? Um, there might be ones that might have stayed. Uh, let's see if I came back, maybe? Or maybe they went to go... What the hell? They didn't even have that, like, AKs and stuff, but... I got caught off guard. I did see something over here. I was like, what? There is something over there. Okay, so what is this? Oh... So this is where the furnace is going to go. And then, can we... I can pick this. I don't have anyone to boost boost me. So... Oh, and this, this guy's a smart as fuck builder, dude. But not too smart. So, he knew... Whoever built this knew that they were going to blow through here, blow through here, and then come in here... And in case like anyone wanted to pick through these walls <laughs> to get inside his base, he fucking turned them. But the only downside to that is like uh, they can just blow through this and then pick through that. But you know that's just the way it is. He's smart, dude. This guy's really smart. Okay. I'm thinking that is gonna be the the ladder hatch to go up, just because this guy is a pretty smart builder, and I've seen the way like so he turned this because he knew people to go through here. A smart builder, dude. But, yeah, I'm thinking, so this wraps all around like this, um, door, 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 and there is going to be the goddamn ladder hatch to go up. How do I know he has ladder hatches? Because if I look on the roof, he has ladder hatch, so. If this guy's smart, that's where, this is where he put the ladder hatch. And he does look like a smart builder, he does look like he knows what he's doing. I'm gonna kill that deer. Not that deer, the horse. Fuck, these guys just basically just came and teamed up on me, and then that was it, and they left. Bunch of morons. Fuck. What the fuck is that noise? It's a bear! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck are all these houses here? Where's that? There it is. Oh, bears, dude. Bears are fucking in OP. When it comes to XP, they're overpowered, especially on uh, on uh, modded. They rank you up quite a bit. <laughs> Killing with the bear with the grass was also like pretty, pretty goddamn like crazy. Man, I had fucking high velocity bullets too. If that guy on the right 
Yeah, I shot at a guy over here. It's probably what led them towards me. But if that guy on the left of me hadn't snuck up on me like that, man, it would have been good. Ooh, if I would have had high external walls to place them down. But nah, they would have still got me because there's like more of them. Like, So there's multiple of them. I think I might die here. Just trying to dodge this guy's. There you go. Alright, but I'm going to go ahead and try to raid it again uh, later, not right now at the moment, because there is a group of three or four rolling around. I heard someone. Oh my god. As little does this guy know, I don't have any health or band-aids. Uh, okay. Yeah, those guys basically, I guess they just saw, like, oh, there's nothing in there, and they might think, but they can easily pick up. That's, oh, that's another thing with modded, a lot of modded players, like, they don't, they don't know about picking for some reason. It's like, it's not, no, <laughs> also, if you're solo, picking is a really great way to get through a base, so if you can get inside, like this, like, so this is the plan, you get inside the base, you can easily pick out. All right. As long as you're inside, you can pick out. All right. Easy. Just take take the materials you can to get in and pick out. But this guy was smart and was like, actually, they can pick to my walls. Oh no, let me turn them inside out. If they get in here, then they're fucked. Um. But a lot of like big clans, they really don't give a fuck. They just blow through anything and then they waste all their rockets when they easily could have picked through walls. And uh, it's just great. <laughs> Like a lot of times, that's that's why clans, big clans, fail raids. A lot of times, it's because like they don't give a fuck. If they see a soft pick wall, they're like, no, just blow fucking into it. And they could have easily avoided that, pick through it, and then like say there was a wall on the other side and it was hard side, and you don't have any more explosives because you wasted it on a soft pick that you could easily soft pick and then waste your rockets on the hard side. It's just you know, big clans. They're not too smart when when it comes to raiding. They just have the numbers and they just basically just steamroll. So even then, if I would have like probably crunched that one guy that was on my left, I had two more guys on my right. Like what could have I done there? Nothing. Like I would have had to fight and like go full beach hills mode, which I'm fucking not. All right, I'm not an expert PVPer. Um. But you know, there's nothing you can do in those situations. But I will, I will come back to raid that base. Hope you guys enjoyed the little Rust solo tips. I'll be probably pumping out some more of these videos later in the future. Uh, but we're gonna see how the raid goes.